Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Becky. How are we doing today? I hope we're all good. So guys, I am finally back. It has been months since I made any content on YouTube and oh my God, I didn't ever think this day was gonna come back if I'm completely honest. Like literally so much has happened in the six months we are into this year, almost seven. Um, it's just been absolutely insane and I am finally in a place now where I can start making videos again. This video is just gonna be an update video about my life and just how I've been getting on and what's been going on and just like, just I just wanna give you guys a major update because it has been a long time and I feel like I owe it to you guys really because it's been ages. I guess we'll just get cracking. <laughs> so honestly guys, I cannot believe we are literally in summer. Like it feels like it was Christmas yesterday. Like where the hell has this year gone? It's just absolutely flown by. But you know what? I'm so glad that this year has gone quickly because you know, I finally finished my degree guys. Like. It is done. I never have to submit an essay again. And I honestly, I just, I don't really know how to feel. Like I just, I feel really weird. I, I just feel strange. Like it feels like I should be doing something like constantly all the time. So I'm so used to being that type of person. I'm so used to having to just do something every single day, coming home from work, having to study, day off, having to study, even sometimes like on a weekend having to study. And now it's just like, oh my God, I got so much free time now. And I'm kind of like struggling finding things to do. So I mean, what better time to like get back into making content. So it feels good. It feels good that I've now completed that and that is done. It's been a very long five years, as you guys know, that's how long it took me to do my degree because I did it part time rather than full time. And I'm just so happy that throughout all of those years, I worked so hard and I'm finally in a position now where I can say, oh my God, I've actually completed it. You know, that's like half a decade, guys. Like, that's just crazy. So, um, yeah, it feels good. It feels really good. And I, I just don't really know how to think or how to feel or like really what my next steps are in life. I'm just trying to think about, okay, so what do I want to do for work now? And you know, what kind of job am I wanting to get into? And I think that's just what I've been trying to think these past six months, especially knowing that I am coming to the end of my studies and just what I want to do with my life really. You know, what do I want to do? I've had so many ideas um, of being a lawyer. Um, I was even in an application of um, becoming a detective in London and you know, all of these ideas have kind of gone out the window in a way. I was in a, in the process of becoming a detective. Um, I was in the application stages. I passed the interview and I reached the next stage and then I withdrew because I just like, I didn't really think moving to London was for me right now. And I just kind of, I'm in a position in my life guys where I just really wanna save money and just buy my own house. And I just wanna be happy. Like that is literally all I want to, to do in my life guys is just have my own place, be happy. Um, you know, have a good successful career. Um, just like where I live now, I don't really wanna be moving to London um, just because it's so expensive out there and, you know, buying a house out there would just be absolutely impossible. So I think, you know, after further consideration, I, I did withdraw my application with that and I did end up, you know, kind of being back to square one in a way. Um, but it kind of feels like now my opportunities are a bit endless. Like I can just do whatever I really wanna do. So I've got some ideas, but nothing set in stone just yet. And like I said, I wanna get back into making content. I wanna get back into, you know, being more interactive with you guys. Like I've, I've got a great channel here, you know, and such a supportive audience and I really want to be able to just offer more um, to you guys and hopefully grow my channel even more. I'm almost at 40,000 subscribers, which is like literally insane. Even though I haven't really been like uploading much, it's, it's nice knowing that people still watch my videos, even though I'm not really um, present on here as much. So yeah, I think that's definitely something I want to get back into. But of course, my whole reason for doing my degree was to get a job into something or in an industry that I would like to work in. Um, but I kind of just want to be back in that place I was before where I was working and making content on the side, like that sort of thing, like I'd love to do that. And you know, who knows what could happen in the future, guys? Like, 
who knows and I know I did have a lot of ideas about becoming a solicitor but that again is just such a competitive and expensive route to take and I'm not saying that I'd never want to do that um, just right now I think now that I've finished all of my studies I want to just have a bit of a breather and just relax and like just do the things that I really enjoy especially and just like you know just love life because right now I feel like life is generally going really well for me and I am forever thankful to God for that. I feel like I'm in such a good place right now and I don't really want to get into anything else you know such as doing a master's degree in which again was something I got accepted for but decided not to go ahead with that and I just want to kind of just you know relax a bit you know I've spent five years studying I just want to relax and just get into a job that I'm gonna be happy with and just have a happy life. Like, literally, that's all I want. So another thing, guys, I need to seriously update you with is I've literally become a fish mom, okay? I have become a fish mom. I have three fish tanks in my bedroom and honestly, guys, I am so fucking passionate about this. Like, it is just so insane how, like, obsessed I've become with fish and things like I think this is another thing I've really found myself this year and just what I actually like doing with my life and like I want to incorporate more of my hobbies into my life because I felt like during my like the years of studying I didn't really do much that made me happy it was kind of just studying and that was pretty much it and going to work um whereas this year I really feel like I've become more in touch with things that I actually enjoy doing and things that I actually I'm passionate about. Um, so as you can see, this is my uh, main fish tank, which I will show you guys very shortly. Um, and I'll show you the other two as well. But yeah, it's brought me so much joy. I absolutely love it with all of my heart. Like it really has just made me so happy, like keeping fish and it's such a relaxing hobby to have as well. And I think that's another thing I wanna incorporate more into my channel is I wanna incorporate more of my hobbies. I wanna incorporate more about like what I'm doing with my life, you know, even if that is just like fish keeping or just anything like that I just want to show you guys kind of like more that side of my life rather than just talking about like trans stuff you know so yeah anyway these are my fish tanks I am going to cut and show you now okay guys so this is my main fish tank that I now have and I've got so many fish in here it is crazy I've got so many like little tetras gouramis um so many little cute ones as you can see and they're so colourful too. Um, they're like so colourful, so relaxing. It's right next to my bed too, this tank. So every time I just want to chill out and just like relax, all I have to do is just turn my head and just feels literally like I'm in an aquarium. But yeah, this is my uh, big main tank that I have. And yeah, I plan to get a few more fish to you guys. Um, I want like a good ratio between big and small fish. So yeah, and I love the plants as well. It's very like... Um, naturistic I guess. Now this guys is my uh, betta fish, he's an elephant uh, finned betta fish which is quite a pretty cool name but obviously with his fins they look like elephant ears. Um, so yeah this is flounder, he's actually quite new, um, oh he's come to say hi. But yeah he's such a pretty fish and this was actually one of my first tanks. I did have some different fish in here but I actually moved them all to the big one and um, I got flounder instead, so yeah, say hi flounder. Yeah, so there we go. And this tank, guys, is my pea puffer fish tank. So I've got four of these pea puffers. You can kind of see one there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up very well. They're so small, so they're so hard to um, focus on. But yeah, there he is. He's uh, a little puffer fish, and I've got four of them. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see him there, but he's so cute. Um, and they literally have the cutest little bellies too, guys. Like every time I feed them, they just have like a small little pot belly. They're so cute, but I've always wanted these fish. Um, but yeah, they do hide a lot, um, hence all the plants. Oh, there's another one coming just behind. There we go. Um, yeah, they do tend to hide quite a lot because they do like heavily planted tanks. They think I'm going to feed them, hence why they're coming up to the glass, but yeah, there we go. They're so cute though, look at them, they're just like the tiniest little fish ever. But they're like small, but also quite vicious. They've never been vicious towards me, but they are a little bit towards each other, because they're quite territorial, but I've never had an issue with them. And yeah, they're 
they're just so cute i love them oh my god guys how could i forget chanel the jumping spider i got a jumping spider back in february um yeah here she is this is chanel i'm gonna see if i can uh show you what she looks like yeah again the camera's probably not gonna pick her up very well oh there we go you can kind of see her there she is but yeah i named her chanel because she's just like so bougie like her colors are just yeah she's a bougie spider <laughs> so yeah there's chanel i don't really do much with her because obviously she's a spider she doesn't really like being touched or handled and i don't think i would ever handle her apparently they don't actually like being handled and she's so small and she could just jump out my hand but yeah there's chanel and she's just living her best life so oh, i got a little jason mask in there as well so that's my little collection so far guys so the next thing guys is where am i at with my transition right now pretty much everything is exactly the same nothing major has really happened with my transition and i don't plan for anything major to happen in my transition as you guys know i'm very happy in how my life is right now um surgery wise i'm very happy with how everything is right now um and yeah that side of my life is very very content um i don't plan on having any more surgeries um or anything like that yes i've had um you know a few fillers done this year um but that's pretty much it you know uh, i know i did a boo job update a few months ago everything there is still pretty much fine so yeah everything that side of my life is fine and yeah very happy with that and also guys i know my hair probably looks really mad right now because like the color in the camera i think especially oh actually you can't see it that badly but anyway i'm growing out my hair guys so i've stopped dyeing it now um, i'm not dyeing it black anymore i want to go back to my natural color um i want to stop dyeing my hair and i just want to like be a bit more like natural with my hair and stuff because i think throughout all the years of dyeing my hair um i was having a lot of like hair issues like i was having like my hair fall out every time i washed it and i've just noticed now that i've stopped dyeing my hair it's not falling out anymore and I just think it's just like, yeah, it's been pretty bad for my hair. I've been doing it for years and I think I just need to stop. I would, however, like to maybe get some like little blonde highlights once all of my hair has like grown back out, but I'm still not entirely sure. I really do want to try and just keep my natural color, but I have always wanted to have like little blonde bits in my hair. So I think maybe I will do that. Like just like at the front or something, or just like, you know, throughout, I don't know, strands of my hair. I just think that'll look really nice. But um, yeah, right now I'm just focusing on getting rid of all the black. And also it's gone a little ginger like in the middle. You can't really see it in the camera because um, I've got like a big ring light. But like in the sun, for example, it looks kind of like gingery around like the areas of where it's black and brown combined. So yeah, I just want to try and just like sort my hair out and just grow it out, stop dyeing it. And I'll probably have like a really big cut, like maybe sometime next year, just to get rid of like all the black and then just have like short hair and just let that kind of grow out. But yeah, I think my main goal right now really is to just save money. Like that is, that is just what I want to do. Like I think... I think everyone handles money so differently and you know I've always been someone that likes to like splurge and like treat myself and like you know especially now that I've like finished my degree I'm kind of like oh my god I really just want to treat myself to something nice um which I have and I am going to show it on my channel very soon guys because it's a very exciting new project of mine and I say project because you know I've had a few projects recently as you guys can see um so yeah I've got something new um in the works that I am so excited about that I would love to film as well um and bring to my channel I think it'll be such an interesting video and content idea I really feel like as well guys I've made some great new friends like I I've got new friends now that are in my life that I could never imagine myself being without. Like it really is funny when people say like, you can never really grow as a person or like grow your community if you just have like old stagnant people in your life who aren't really giving you anything good. Um, you know, once you rid those people, you generally do attract newer and better people in your life. And that is just where I'm at right now. Like I generally have some great new friends in my life that I could never imagine my life without. Also guys, as you probably are aware of, um, I, I made a video last year about being on medication, having anxiety and, and like OCD and all that sort of stuff, you know. Um, but I've been on medication now for 
yeah I guess near enough 12 months and I honestly feel like a new person like I really do feel like I'm so much happier in myself and more confident yes I still have anxiety and OCD but it's not as bad as what it was this time last year I generally do feel like it's so um, manageable now and I can actually deal with those types of issues in my life I have actually started therapy again as well recently not because I'm struggling with anything in particular but it's just good to you know have therapy to like you know I guess monitor you know mental health situations and to monitor that side of my life a little bit more um, especially while being on medication I feel like sometimes medication could be like a big block to like your issues um, and it can just make you like numb to them I'm the type of person that likes to address my issues rather than ignore them you know I'm still on the like medication and stuff that I've been taking um, but I'm also still like having therapy um, I did have a long break uh, pretty much the whole of this year I haven't really had any therapy up until like a few weeks ago I started again and yeah it feels good that I'm like addressing other needs in my life um, addressing other issues especially and I think as I've always said guys on my channel it's so important to address these types of things in life because you know otherwise you know we just bottle them up and that's definitely not healthy for us but yeah guys that's pretty much where I'm at with my life right now you know I'm just focusing on you know what are my next goals in life now I finish my degree and that generally is to save money hopefully buy a house one day like, I'd love to be able to do that um and yeah make more content find a, a job that I'm going to really enjoy doing and just like have a good life like I don't want anything extravagant or like mega luxurious you know I just want to be happy you know that that's all I want to do and right now I am very happy but I I'd love to be more independent, have my own place, and yeah, live my life that way, I guess. Let me know in the comments, guys, anything you'd like to hear from me, um, any type of content you'd love to see. I am also on Cameo, guys, so if you want any personalized advice or anything related to dating or transitioning or anything like that, you know, head over to Cameo and I'm more than happy to give you that advice. And make sure, guys, to follow me on Instagram, which is Becky Bolton XO and TikTok. I don't really use any other the social media website right now um those are my main two but yes guys thank you so much please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye